I have to agree that every nation who came to this country, they have a peculiar tag, or should I say, the crime of which they are associated with. But that does not mean, because they say, there is a general saying that, that crime does not have any nationality. When I'm about 21 years old in this country already, that time we just came, and I remember we were looking for an apartment. I made a phone call. The guy sounded like an Indian. When he heard my accent, he said, are you not coming to my house to sell drugs? I became angry. Then I said to him, I'm also afraid that if I rent your flight, you could come and rape me. Because if Nigerians are tagged that they peddle drugs, South African also are tagged that they abuse children, they are violent, they are this and that. But we should be very wrong to tag an entire nation that they are drug peddlers. Nigerians, there is a lot to compare Nigeria with Indian with. Let me mention a few things that we have in common with India. Nigerians, we are highly populated, same with India. Nigerians, we have a lot of everything. If you say that Nigerians are criminals in high number, so we have higher numbers of professionals in this country, you will be amazed that there are some prophet like my husband is a, a lawyer in profession. But what, what is he doing in this country? He's selling food spices. Ordinarily, in a place where there is normalcy, he's supposed to either practice as a teacher or as a lawyer. But you come to this place, you see that there are a lot of things that are not practicable. You just come here, it's either you fit in into the streets and do crime, or you tell yourself, I'm in this country, to live like a normal night in South Africa, to do legitimate business. When it comes to this drug of a thing that Nigerians are labeled with, I have to tell you, Nigerians are not the main drug peddlers. The problem with us is that we are loud. Mm -hmm. Nigerians are loud. <laughs> Even the way we talk, the way our body language, and the way we do everything. So you will now think that when you see a Nigerian, maybe be, be, because of the way she dresses and then hey, this looks like it's too expensive, where do you get money? This money that we spray when we go to parties is our culture. We appreciate celebrants when they dance with spray of money. Although, when you look at it, there are also some sentiments, some concern about it. It doesn't mean that when you spray money, then you got that money illegally. My brother said when he was speaking that crime does not have nationality. It's not every Nigerian you see that's a, 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 a drug peddler. You will be amazed that people who do this real thing, I don't want to mention any nation so that I, I don't become <laughs> responsible to come and explain further. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I have to tell you that Nigerian is not a drug state. Mm. It's not a drug state where a lot of Nigerians, like myself, I can beat my chest to tell you I've never seen drug before. I only see it on TV. But because I live my normal life here, I am legal, I am legitimate, I do my business, then they wonder, why are you dressed so sophisticated like this? Why do you do this and why do they automatically think you are selling drugs? So I just want to correct that, that when we talk about drugs, not all Nigerians do drugs. Not all South Africans are xenophobic. Not all South Africans are child abusers. Yeah, yes. Yeah. yes. So crime does not have nationality. And before I sit down to add to what my chairman said here, 
in Nigeria, there is one problem we still have. There is institutionalized, uh, what do you call it? Uh, institutionalized uh, bribery and corruption. Mm -hmm. Nigeria is a place whereby a graduate will be earning, when you put it into rands, it can be like a less than, how much is a? How much is uh, 80,000 naira? 80,000 is about 2,000 rand. A graduate earns less than 3,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nigeria is a country where it's a cash society. A place where one person can buy this building with cash. We count cash on the streets. That's why if you give me 50,000 rand, I will count it like this in less than five minutes and I am done. <laughs> and that is what I think is one of the good thing this uh, administration that will soon go, go out is trying to correct. But Nigerians don't even understand that. If you type a mefiele now on your Google, it will tell you a lot of things about a mefiele because he's the governor of a central bank. They brought out a solution to curb this cash society so that we use less of cash but now people misunderstand it and they say a lot of things and then another thing is about uh, this kidnapping that our brother asked them some other people also have hijacked this kidnapping of a thing like in the eastern part of nigeria where we come from we the Igbos, they have hijacked it they have criminalized it. It is no longer political agitation. A lot of them who were arm robbers, because you will be surprised. We hear less of arm robbery now in Nigeria. What we hear is kidnapping. They think that one is quicker and faster. They kidnap somebody, ransom is paid, and stuff like that. So I believe this is a collective effort. Thank you very much.